And we have yet to play an entire 32 minutes. And if we can play an entire 32 minutes, I do believe we'll end up winning by 10 points instead of losing a lot of our games by 10 points. It's some stretch during the game, whether it be the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, it's been a little bit different each game where the opposing team has gone up by 10 points. Last night against Bishop England, that 10 point was in the first quarter. Against Spruce Creek, a team we played in the West Ashley Tournament from Florida, uh, that was in the third quarter. Against Academic Magnet a couple uh, earlier this week, uh, that was another one that was in the fourth quarter. We were only down by a couple points, and uh, we ended up giving up a, a few easy layups, and we didn't get back on defense, and all of a sudden now we're down by 10. With having one returning senior on the basketball team and that one returning senior not getting a particular lot amount of playing time last year, uh, that's real. Uh, that's one of the, the biggest issues that we have because a lot of these guys don't know how to play full intensity on the varsity level and when we're starting to learn when we're starting three sophomores we have a, we've had an eighth grader Samuel Denmark he's got a lot of significant playing time he started several games Rodney Keener who's a freshman um, didn't even play JV last year he's now playing varsity basketball this year and, um, and it takes a while to understand how to uh, basically man up yeah. against your opponent and not let them push you around, lower their shoulder and put it through your chest and, and always look to the ref for a foul call. Sometimes you just got uh, Everybody's playing well right now for the team. I mean, it's kind of sporadic with with who's doing what each night. Our point guard, Jacques um he's a captain, he's tough, and uh, he does everything that I ask him to. Terrell Green, uh, a sophomore, he's coming up, six foot five. He's, uh, he's, he's learning and understanding what he's supposed to do defensively. And uh, Marquise Mack, um, he's also a sophomore. He was uh, critical in the uh, football run that we had earlier this year at Hand to Hand. And uh, he played linebacker for them, and he's one of our shooting guards. And um, you know, he's doing real well. He's probably one of our, our tougher guys um, from the guard. Uh, North Charleston is probably the biggest matchup that we've had all year long. We played uh, Goose Creek, we played at West Ashley, uh, two great basketball teams in the low country with, with a nice program from each one of them. Uh, but North Charleston is right there. They've beaten the likes of Burke and, and hung with West Ashley and, and I think only have one loss up to this point. They have five athletic guys and they play a 1-3-1 one, one and, and they just tempt you to shoot the basketball. So um, we've got to be able to attack them. Um, Stahl is very athletic. They're kind of like us. they uh, they got a brand new coach over there. Um, so that's just going to be a matchup of you know who can get their their young team to to buy into what uh, their coach is trying to get them to uh, do for them.